Hello, and welcome back to Baxter by Night. Usual warning, this is a horror game. There will be elements of a disturbing, violent, sexual nature. Vampire the Masquerade, Paradox, all that good jazz. And last, we left off. Get the music on. Ooh, ooh, I, haven't, I haven't copied the music. We're off to a Fail. Good, we are off to a good start here. Very professional. Pro streamer. <laughs> Last we left off, you just our gang had just left off from the skate park over on the western type of side. There they ran into a few interesting characters. One, Kyle, engaged in a rap battle. And won quite thoroughly against the locals there, causing quite a stir. Young Angel, you faced off against a man in the park called Dave, quite proficient in chess. You tried to throw the game to see how he was, but you beat him nonetheless. And Bill, oh Bill, you encountered Mr. G. man who you found and admitted to ghouling of young Lizzie. You and him had a violent altercation in the back of a van where his true nature was revealed as one of the Nosferatu. What pursued was a fight among to make tanks think that tanks are hard, but eventually you brought him to Torpor, ripping out his fangs. This caused quite a commotion, with Kyle causing one of his guards to turn their gun upon the other. Holding the guard's hands as he shot him, his friend, through the heart. He managed to disperse most of the crowd, Angel persuading most of them. Was it quick enough? Don't know. And as Angel, Angel and Bill have left for the night, heading back with the torpid body of Mr. G. Kyle was left in the park, explaining to the police what had happened. Um, can go Kyle, before we begin, just to see quite how well your night goes, can you roll me a manipulation plus deceive check? At various points, I will most likely be your presence as well, but yeah. If you wish to include your presence, that is fine. I'm guessing subterfuge, yeah? Nine, nine, four, nine, eight, six, two, six. That's six successes. Sure. 
Thankfully, you managed to convince the police that you were by a bystander. They take your contact details and allowed you to leave back to the safe house where you've all we cooked for the night. I am. Now, you all find your safe places for the night. And we begin the next evening as you awaken. But A, you are there too. You yes, spend sir, the night caring for Lindsay yep. within the safe house, who has been energetic to say the least. So can I please have rouse checks out of all of you? I got an eight. I got a six. Two, I'm hungry. Okay, please increase your hunger by one. Angel? Got a night. Okay. As you all awaken for the night. Some of you feeling the shame of the night before. Mr. G, still torpored. And Lindsay, still within the other room. What would you like to do? I would like to have a nibble on my gold. That is fine. You get one of your ghouls down. How hungry are you? Uh, two. But I'm only aiming for one. Because, well, I'm not going to kill one. Okay. Roll me a willpower check. Two sevens, a six, an eight, and a five. You find one of your ghouls. And as you do, quietly and swiftly, feed upon him. Leaving him lying down in one of the beds in the room. With a look of pleasure upon his face. Babe. I'm going to go and check on Lizzie. Because I assume that she would have been kept checked on overnight, over the, during the day. Just yes. to make sure she didn't run away. Tae Yang was, <laughs> Tae Yang was there with you. And he checked That's on right. throughout the night. Ah. You okay? You okay there, Lizzie? Yeah, I'm good. I'm... I'm, I'm I'm good. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, long uh, day. Where have you been? Uh, about. I had some things to get done. Yeah, me too. Oh, that's that man. He wouldn't just let, wouldn't let me leave. Yeah, it's probably for the best just now. What's As it? I said, that that stuff you've got, you've had, is not good for you. And we don't want you kind of getting addicted to it, so we're kind of making sure that you're going to go out and get proper, uh, you know, proper help here. What's Make sure you're weaned off it nicely. What is this place? Like some sort of fancy rehab? Where are you going making Correct. all these fancy high friends? I'm, I know a few people. You know what Reggie's like? He always makes sure that there's some people that we know. Yeah. Just in case. Mm. And this is a special circumstance, because this shit is not good. Mm. What is it? Some drug you definitely don't want to be on. Huh. Don't know about that. 
trust me on that one. This thing lasts for... I can still feel it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, that's why we're trying to make sure that you're weaned off it nicely. Why? Why? I mean, I've not got the shakes, I've not... And all we wanted was some information. What information? I just wanted to hear about Reggie. Really? What did he want to know? He just wanted to know where he, where he was based. What did you tell him? Told him the pets. Anything else? No. No, he just told me to keep my ears open. And when was this? It was yesterday. Timeline for this was before Reggie went then, was it? No, no, no. No, no. So I'm asking you as GM, sorry. No, no. Reggie no. has been missing for yeah. approximately I've been, what, four I, or five I, days. Yeah. yeah, so that's why. Just get my timelines right there. Um, right. Do you I'm usually know where I'm having you? Hmm. Then he offered me this. So how did he give it to you? I mean... Cup? Just offered me a drink. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, Sarge, how, what would my knowledge of ghouls be, and is this possible? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What if you're a cult? <laughs> oh, a cult? Oh, none! <laughs> you give them some blood? <laughs> I mean, they get, they get a bit stronger, you know? Yeah. Time to go and speak to the others about this. Yeah. Can I, yeah. Can I like, get out? I just want to run for a bit, you know? No. Are you going to need to stay here? Uh, Mr. Tayang here. He'll keep, you know, he'll keep an eye on you, right? You know, maybe maybe he can help you work out a bit, Tayang. Oh. Go with that. She looks at Tayang quite excitedly. He looks at you. I give, him a, I, I give him a smile, and a hopeful smile, and that way I only a, a 19 year old ugly boy can do. Come with it me. It doesn't really work. Come with me, Miss Lizzie. <laughs> Tell me, are you practiced in self-defense at all? No. No. Well, you know, I can stab a man in his eyes. I had to do that before, kick a man. Okay. We'll see what we can do here. And leads her out of the room. I'm gonna go With a look of you owe me. At you, Abe. <laughs> I, just, I just put my hands up and go, eh? I'm going to go look for people. Okay. Angel. What a night. You awake in your plushly decorated bedroom in the... in the haven. Yep. And I'm going to check on the media and see if there's any unfortold stories from what happened last night. Okay. Story shouldn't be. And if there is, I'm going to use my special skill of covers ups to work on fixing it. <laughs> okay. Um, let me just see which skill would be relevant. Please roll me 
an intelligence plus investigation check. I got two. You look through the news. One of the more local papers seems to have the usual deaths, killings, reports of a shooting at the skate park. One dead, one in custody. One article picks up your eye. They are among us. Headline reads. And attached to the article is a video. A blurry old phone video showing one of the men turning the gun on his friend something moves incredibly quickly face and features blurred as it moves behind the man and, push and turns him holding its hands behind the back Before you hear a voice, hear a voice. No, I told you, go away. My voice is speaking on it. Hmm. The website. Is. Let me just do a quick search on my previous notes. I'm sure we had a note for this somewhere. It is, it is published. On a website, the Second Eye News website. Can I do something to trace to the owner? What is your technology skill? My technology is free. Okay. Please roll me. How are you attempting to do this? Vaguely, what is your approach? Basically, my approach is to feel out who it is, see if I can get a domain, find out where it is, but not push it just in case I might scare the people away. Like it's just a, you know, like like I'm doing some stalking. Yeah, so you're not uh, touching the actual website itself. No, I'm not touching the actual website itself. It's I'm not going to do anything at the moment. However, if I keep seeing little videos like this, I may start making fake ones. Um, you know, like over dramatic B okay. rated horror movies to start filling in the gaps. You know, and start making it un okay. realistic sort of deal. Can I have a wits plus technology roll? Is there any set limits on this? No. No? Okay, then I've got four. You look and dig through the website, looking up where its domain is. It's based in Idaho. <coughs> Seems to be registered about three months ago. 
and it is owned you manage to trace it back to a company called the second eye but doing with your skill even bigger you start doing some digging into the company and was registered approximately six months ago as a subsidiary of Pentex that's all you get And on the note of in the future, we might I might have to put fake videos on here. Um, can I start making some? If you do so, making a fake video does take time. That's that's absolutely fine. What I mean is, like on my downtime, I'll be if I'm at my computer, I'll be making fake videos to upload whenever I can. Take a note of it. And when there is downtime, I will ask, you can choose that as one of your actions. Feel free to put it in the Discord chat. Cool, no problem. Uh, that is correct spelling, um, Kyle. It is 2-N-D-I. You spend the early evening hour or two digging for reaching that conclusion. What would you like? To, I take it you are going to gather with the others now. Yes, I am. Perfect. Bill. What a night. And a brand new trophy for you. Mm, Bill? Kyle, is, is Bill okay? Kyle, we'll just go to check on Bill. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bill has just woken suddenly from a bad dream. Oh. <laughs> Did it involve a cowboy man? <laughs> Something like that. As you've just awoken from said bad dream. Feeling in it, you being chased by a beast. Fangs watching yourself become the beast and ripping its fangs out. Alexa, stop. I had an alarm go off there quickly. I had to stop that. As you awaken to a new evening, the place around you unfamiliar. You remember coming here. Dragon Enterprises. It's kind of like a bunker. All around you, through the corridors as you look around, fancy sheets and well dressed Korean men. It's a bit surreal for you, to say the least. You were given a room. Nice quality. As dressing table, bed, side thing, shower, bathroom, all the amenities. Okay. Uh, Bill is going to get up and have a shower, try and wash the grime out of him. This may take some time. Yeah. <laughs> as you shower, the mixture of the grime incorporated the blood left over from your fight 
as you scrub and scrub at your hands. And there you see, as you get out the shower wrapped in the towel, a fresh set of clothes closely matching your own. Your own ones having been taken away to be cleaned while you're in the shower. Next to them, two pointed white bones. Get dressed. You dress? Hold, Fit appropriately. Hold, hold the bones up to my eyes. They are <laughs> sharp. You can see I'm small just... dents along them from use. I just... Huh? And put them in a pocket. Okay. Before making my way out of the room to take stock of wherever the hell I am now. I just have to go back in the notes a bit. Now, Kyle, has any any restrictions been placed on Bill? No. Okay. Although the security do know that he's part of the VIP party, and uh, they have to stay speaking in English around group because, well. Kyle doesn't want to be rude to his Corey and wants to make sure his Corey knows what's being said around them. Okay. Bill, please roll me a wits plus investigation roll. Just to see how much you can see before you inevitably end up where everyone else is. Uh, that is one success. You wander around and you see a multitude of halls being taken up by the same groups of men, Korean, for the most part, dancing and practicing. You occasionally see someone dressed in a guard uniform. One room filled with books. couple of odd volumes in there, but you only get a brief look as you go past. Seems to be locked at this time. Okay. Seems rather... It's big. For, you know, even. Well paid for. As you make your way to the central room, where you all meet at approximately the same time, Bill will look relatively uneasy, but he will skulk into the room. The room is A large study of sorts. Seems to have a lot of inspiration from the 80s. A large pit in the centre lined with couches and a large table in the middle. Fitting about 10 to 12. You're stopped at the door, each of you. But allowed in. For those Kyle. of you that know, Kyle, Angel, and Abe, this is your sanctum. And the only ones yeah. allowed in here are you and specific ghouls. Can I just check before 
I walk in and go and see Bill. Have I met Bill yet? <laughs> yes. Sorry. You, you met Bill. Bill. You met Bill. <laughs> in the pits. He has remember. introduced himself as a friend of Reggie's. Described a Reggie from that he knew previously, who's the same as Reggie but with short hair. From the early from the early Anarch Wars. That's fine then. And you believed him? Because, you know, you're Abe, you're trusting, right? Yeah. Totally. That's fine. Before you Just had to, to rush off. Yeah. And he yeah. took over place to defend the others through the night and help track down Mr. G. Cool. Just had to check that. Who is currently lying to one side on a couch, zip tied behind his back in this room. Um, if you'd like to describe yourself, Bill, for Abe. Uh, certainly. Let me just get my description. I believe it's in the chat. I think you sent it on... I, I know what he looks like, don't worry. Okay, that's fine. You know what he looks like. And right now he will be staring daggers at the boy hogtied on the couch. And what is growling. What is on the couch for those who didn't quite see Mr. G is well can only be described as a monster in a suit. I'm gonna elaborate so it can be described as more things. But in a fine black suit and white shirt. Ripped and battered now. Looks like they were in a serious fight. Scratches and claws. You can see pale skinned fingers clawing to talons. The face and smile. Looks like a permanent smile on the face as the cheeks pull back revealing large pointed teeth, the eyes hollow and dark, ears pointed and tapered over the bald head. So who is this? Kyle is probably going to shuffle in, not looking as put together as he usually is. He's literally just going to have like a really pair of sweatpants very large baggy hoodie his hair's going to be down and just slip of I don't know he's two things that are wrong with Kindred today he's a drug dealer and a fucking cliche was he the one in the van yeah well the kids say that the van's been picking people up yeah, but oh. it. So what the van, the van, yeah. like the van, the van that took Re uh, Reggie, like. Well, that's what you said to me. And the kids said that he's been driving around picking people up. And the van that made took Billy as well. Oh no, mm -hmm. didn't take Billy. No, Billy wasn't taken. Scrap that. Billy wasn't taken. I'm just gonna shrug and start kind of playing around with a bit of his hoodie near his neck. Mother, mother for got taken. Probably. So Maybe. who is this So who is this guy? I'm not entirely sure. Apart from he was in the van that the kids said were taking people. From what Bill said, he's a so, so like, Mr. So like this guy? G? Oh, oh right. Oh, see, so this is like the Mr. G. I've known a lot of G's. He's a Mr. G. Is this the Mr. G? Is this the Mr. G that gave my Lizzie the blood? I think so. I asked him a few questions and started whooping his ass. Because, like, 
I need to know what's going to go on with my Lizzie now, because she now, you know, she's going to be addicted. She's trying to work. Where's everybody? Where's everybody's account? Zero. 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 But I've been taught a little about ghouls because I have one. Zero. (laughs) No. None of you know the particular intricate details of ghouling. Kyle, you've only experienced it once before when you couldn't quite get back to Kyle. I know, you're Kyle. To Tian. Where it begins to present withdrawal symptoms. Thankfully, you were able to catch him in time before it became anything too much. But none of you have managed to spend enough time ghouling or learning about them to know how well that withdrawal goes. Yeah. How many times has she taken? Once, I think. How long ago? Uh, pretty uh, recently. But, you know, she's uh, pretty hopped up. You do know. Uh, we might not be able to get her off of you. Okay. So. People. You have bond get sick after a while if it's not kept up. All right. I have not really wanted to experiment how badly it could go. Okay. So that so. Am I going to have to tell her what's going on then? Or you could take a look. Sorry? Or you could take a look at the thing. I I could what? Take a look at the thing. Sorry, sorry, you were breaking up every... Again. Well, you could take this for feeding her. Yeah, but I would have to tell her what I am. Not if you just said you were able to provide her with the drug. Well, I'm trying to t- get her off the drug. No yeah. offense, kid, but that genie's out of the ball. I don't know if we can. As I'm saying, I know that after some time, if they're not given more, they can get sick, but I've not been willing to test how sick they get. But, do uh, you know, do we really want someone out there that's, like, you know, you know, not quite us, but not quite them. Abe, you're going to have to claim her. It's as simple as that. And why, oh why, did you bring this thing here? I, I've been trying to wrap my head around it. This is why I haven't been in the conversation. Trying to figure out why, in the wisdom, would you bring this thing here? To be honest, miss. Angel. To be honest, Angel, I don't actually remember driving here. Angel. Angel. For Mm -hmm. that, if you remember your conversation last time, it was in fact you that suggested you bring him here instead of to the Baron. Okay, so I know, why did I suggest that? 
I think in culture you call it combat stress. No, no, seriously, Sarge, why did I just suggest that? Because I actually said take it to the baron. Uh, I yeah, I'm not going to go to the haven. <laughs> so I need to. I'm good. Yeah, I'm going to give you a leg and she suggests you quite a bit. Even if it's temp, even if it's temporary, you've brought him here. No one does know it is here for now, and you will be able to move on to the Baron afterwards. Right. Okay. So for some reason, it it, it just arrived here and it just all ended up that way. Cool. I need to have you all sleep somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that because I was like. Okay. Don't worry, there is no. I, 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 if it helps, I have put no impact on you bringing him here. This is a pet stop for wherever you wish to go. I, I assume. I assume it was a. Uh, it was getting close to close to sun up. It was closer to get here than to get to the baron. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> well, we'll go with that. We'll go with that then. Okay. If you went to your secret entrance to the pets that you have. That you have. Okay. Well, I'll be honest, Miss Angel. Truth be told. I'm planning on putting him over my shoulder, putting him back in the truck, and taking him to the baron. And that'll that's be... only because I'm being polite and not putting him out the window. That'll be a good idea. There's too many innocent young men around here that really don't need this thing in their faces. And as for Lizzie, as I said, Abe, if she has had some of this thing's blood, you're going to have to either claim her or trick her into believing she is um sick yes and so what, what, will happen, what will happen to her if she doesn't get the blood she potentially will die that's what I'm so, got, so we're not going to let that happen then this is why I said claim her tell you what You don't want to go, eh? We don't never said know that. if it will kill her. So how about a middle ground? We'll try and get her off it. If it looks like it's going to kill her, somebody will have to go. Well, I'll, I'm going to... I'll, I'll do it if it's the only option. Okay, then let's take care of the elephant in the room. It's not an elephant. Kyle's no, it's a his foot. Oh, I'm, I'm going to pat it down. On it, you find a phone quite smashed. I'm going to fix this. Pocket, a wallet. In it, an ID. Looks quite fake, a very fake, a very plain face, Ignacio Gale is the name on it, Ignacio, <laughs> and in there, roll me your wits plus investigation check, oh that is two successes, you also find tucked into the back of the waistband a knife ornate black inscribed with something you're not sure what is it like the other knife from before not as old not what are you seeing? But there are similarities to the knife you found in <laughs> Don Star's temple. For those who yeah, didn't know, they have one current ritual act knife. And I'm gonna go I'm gonna go get that knife. Tucked inside the back. You find of the wallet. You find a card, and all it has on it is 
Gales and a phone number. Okay, okay. Uh, Miss Angel, can you pass me a bag? Uh, what kind of bag are you needing? A uh, wonder. All right then, here's the bag. Okay, I'm gonna start packing all the stuff in a bag. Still, so, here's the kicker. I haven't been an anarch for quite some time. He is not awake to tell us whether he's anarch or Camarilla. We're gonna have to take him to the barn and some of you are gonna have to testify. To what? That he was an ass peddling drugs and turning guns on kids. Okay, I'll take the rug and continue playing with that specific part of the city. Well, present him to the Baron and let the Baron decide what he wants to do with him. Yeah, problem is I've put yeah, the Baron downstairs. Well, I'm not strong enough to pick him up, so you pick him up and I'll present him to the Baron. How about that? Sounds good to me. What about oh. this knife? Sorry if I came back with a knife. Yes. Yeah. Can I compare them, please? They're different. They're different. Okay, Certainly. I am going to draw both bag and body away from Abe. Mm -hmm. Ron, you want to tell me why you have the same knife as this guy? They're different. One of them is more golden hinted and made of bone. The other one, yeah, that one. silver, like shiny, new. I just want to check to see if they were the same. They look kind of similar. Abe likes to collect weird knives that he takes from his victims. Something about being a gangrel and claiming prizes, I believe, is what you do. I'm not entirely sure. I got out of somebody's foot. Hey, uh, guys. Yes, my Jackson's foot, yes. Nice. But you still claimed it off the last battle, and I'm assuming... But you didn't really battle this creature. Isn't this knife his? Points to Bill. Oh, yeah, I just, I just wanted to check in case it was these guys again. Um, uh, what was the third cup? We had a gold I didn't really want to fight these guys back. again, because these so guys were... Silver, 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 silver cup. What was the yeah, it was to do with dragons. Um, was Kyle? it not wood or bronze? Kyle, you had found, when I can find that section of my notes, you found four cups. A silver, a gold, a brass, and a wood. Brass, not bronze. They are currently within the library, along with the tarm, tome of the Order of Dracula. Uh, Kyle's gonna sigh, let the rest of the room continue arguing amongst themselves and toddle off to the library to put the cups and the bag in a rucksack. Uh, hold up a second. Dragons are a thing now? Mm, no. The embodiment of dragons, however, <laughs> I'll be right back. Kyle just sounds tired. tired. For, uh, for, for so, crafter. It was um, oh, what are they called the flesh Drugar. chambers. Yes, Drugar. yes, those ones. Um, they attacked. We took them on. Apart from Abe, the rest of us got a beating. I almost I killed them all. Forever. Um, just yeah. explosions. Bell, you have no idea what they're talking about. Long story short, we took on a bad, bad man thing. I don't even know if it was a man. It may have been a man. A bad thing took it down, yeah. and he claimed a prize from it, which was that knife. This knife looks similar, so this is your prize. So are you want your prize, or you want to let Abe take it? Because he clearly likes collecting knives. I don't, I don't like collecting knives. I was just checking the knives. I just wanted to check to see if it was another one of these... 
ungodly things. Okay. Well. Right. Oh, a, cool. a couple of questions, sure. if I may. Uh huh. First, huh? Um. It doesn't matter. Which... It doesn't matter. It's been dealt with. It's gone. It's dusted. We're moving on. No more of this. It's not the same yep. knife. It's a different knife. You put that knife away. You keep that knife, and we have to take this thing to the band. Come on, we're, we're, let's go. We're monsters that can. That if you get blood on them, that you get blood on you, could infect you with something weird. And Angel slaps her hand against her forehead and goes. Other bed now. We're good. Story. That's fine. It's fine. Uh, should we get the so car? We, we need a van. Yes, we need the van. I'm gonna go and get the van. The van's in the basement, isn't it? None of us are infected. We're all good. We <sighs> killed them all. Walk away. Angel's gonna walk away, sighing and going to a vehicle to get a van ready for moving said body to go to said Barons. So she wasn't. So she wasn't planning on waiting for Chum, huh? Does she do that a lot? Yes. Very much. It's her it's, it's it's thing. Yeah. Kind of unknowing angels and patients will gather the book, the cups, and head to the garage. Uh, so, yeah. So, like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing at this point. Right. Uh, I'm going to go take this back and put it somewhere safe. Probably a good idea. Yeah. You're guarding this guy. You're good. Yeah. So you whipped all their asses and brought the big guy down, huh? Supposedly. I suppose I should be proud. Yeah, I think I got lucky. Eh. Never complain about luck. Yeah. Yeah, we kind of lost our pal though. He got he got stolen by the the Tremere. Sorry, to hear that. Yeah, the uh, what's it called Rimmer. He he nicked him. Never heard of the guy, but if you're friends in the hands of a Tremere. Yeah, never. Well, he was a Tremere as well. Even worse. Yeah. Well. He was all right. He was like just like newly, newly minted. No, I mean we had an anarch to meet up LA way. Anyway. All right. The clan got a hold of him. All and right. It didn't go well. All right. So yeah, yeah. We, we kind of need to get him back at some point. That'd be useful. Yeah. Your friend Angel. She's a venture, right? I think so. Can she drive by herself? Uh yes, I think so. Don't they usually have people doing that for them? Maybe. Probably. I don't know. <sighs> Go tuck the knife away, little brother. All right. Just so I know, what are you doing with the knives? I'm putting it back somewhere safe. And the other one? Hey, it's going in the evidence bag. Yeah, it's still with him. Because <laughs> it has spooky bullshit on it. Okay, so is it the same evidence bullshit bag as the rest of the stuff? So, yeah. your, Ed, your knife is going back to your room? Or back yeah. to the library? Uh, back to my room. Because okay. it's my knife. <laughs> oh, yeah. My knife. And is there any money in the wallet? Yes. There is $50. He's I'll rich. pass it to Abe. Woohoo! Thanks, mate. Well, if you're gonna have a go, you're gonna have to buy sandwiches. Buy plenty of sandwiches. I think that's what they eat anyway. As Kyle returns to the room, watching this exchange of money, and an absence of Angel, carrying a large duffel bag. 
The unusual thing for Kyo as well is he hasn't bothered to dress for going out. He is literally still in his slippers, mm -hmm. his joggies, and his hoodie. The only thing he's now put on is his glasses and mask. He has absolutely no care to get dressed today. I take, oh, it, oh. That's your change of, I take it that's your change of outfit in the back. Nothing like that. Are you, why are you dressed like that? Is this a new fashion statement? Mm, didn't feel like it today. Rough night last night. Fair it, enough. It, 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 it puts hand to Kyle's head to check temperature. <laughs> Quite cold. Um, <laughs> at best room temperature. <laughs> Are you and ill? Large and even scary Kyle. No styling products. Yes, Angel. <laughs> Basically, what's going to happen, because these guys are taking so long, Angel's going to text Tay and say, Tay, you're going to tell the others to hurry up. I haven't yeah, got all You're sitting in the back of the car, I assume. You've gone down, you've got in a car, and you're sitting in the back seat. No, I was going to one of the vans. One of the old vans, <laughs> and I was driving. Oh, oh. You, you can I'm... drive, can't you? Yeah, I can drive, yeah. yes. That's easy enough. You pull the car round and you're sat there waiting. <laughs> I think I went for one of those little vans, you know, one of the vans that you can, it's just a small one. Yeah, like a transit um, van. Yeah, so we can shove the big guys in the back and then I can just drive us down there. Yeah, you guys do have similar things. It's kind of like a van, but with seats at the side. It's like a mini SWAT van, but not quite as armoured. <laughs> <laughs> it's not armoured. It's kind of like... It is like a SWAT van in its layout, but it's... Yeah, it's not armoured. It's just like a mini bus, but with the seats on and the this side. this is being brought to the front of the club. This is, being, this is still within the garage. Oh, Alright, you, you guys You guys haven't had a body before, have you? <laughs> oh no, you didn't think you were bringing it around. No, this is out the front at the moment. Angel, can you roll me an intelligence check? I got two. You sit there. And you sit there. You guys eventually move yourself round to the back door on the way out as Tay Yang has said everything there's no one there Angel you get a text saying we're at the door and it hits you fuck should have went round the back and then you drive around the back <laughs> and pick them up and we'll leave this section there and go for a quick intermission before we head on unless there's anything people would like to do before we go to the Baron yeah okay, I'm getting this guy in the van yep you've heard you've heard of the thousand years of pain technique right oh, for fuck's sake no <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'm ending the recording there respect yeah <laughs> And we will catch you all after a break.